Robbie didn't sleep, but if he did, the sound of Lydia vomiting would have woken him up. It echoed all up and down the house through the plumbing. He padded downstairs, watching his feet. They looked indistinguishable from human feet, if perhaps less veiny. He went into the guest bedroom downstairs, where Lydia had moved because her bones were getting brittle, and moved into the bathroom. Lydia was clinging to the toilet, which had a height adjuster on it, because she sometimes had trouble getting up after using it. She was pale, and her knuckles were even paler from the effort of clinging to the height adjuster. Robbie leaned over and pulled her red hair back, then reached over and picked up a band to tie it back with. Some of it came loose in his hands. He slipped it into a wastebasket behind Lydia's back. I'm sorry, Lydia said. Don't be, Robbie said, and he meant it. He might malfunction again some day, too. Lydia had to replace his spine after he damaged it. 